for me, the thing that goes without saying all the time for me is that like the best tool, the best marketing tool, promo tool, sync tool, whatever it is, is what is to make brilliant records. You know, and, and everything that we're talking about is detail. Um, in the end, you know, if you've got amazing records, you'll get amazing opportunities. And then, you know, unless you're com unless someone's a complete idiot or they just don't know what they're doing, they should be able to make their way well, through I'm that. Not I mean, sure. that, that might be a bit harsh. I think it's sometimes that they don't know who to get it to. No, no, but, but, but we're, we're working on the assumption that, this, that somebody has um, half a brain and that if, they, if they're if they not equipped yet, that they can surround themselves with a good lawyer, a good accountant, yeah. a good booking agent yeah. and good people. So, But, but, but that's but, a big battle. What, getting all those, all those, yeah. Well, it's not if you... But again, it comes back to if you're making great records, yeah. you'll have then all those things. Get all those things, and, and yeah. Obviously, not everybody has those opportunities from the outset, and I think quite a lot of what we're talking about is stuff that is the the benefits that are available to people that <coughs> that have records and are doing shows that people are already excited about. And I think, um, for you know, obviously, I don't know anything about this artist that you're talking about, but I think the the main thing is to is to really, really start with a with a small amount of people. Don't concentrate on trying to impress people that aren't aren't watching yet. You know, you do amazing shows and amazing records for the fan base that they already have, and they'll tell their friends, and and it grows from there. That's it is word of mouth is by a mile the strongest thing. You can mm -hmm. um, so no, no, like utilizing the things that are sort of so huge in, in terms of marketing these days, like Facebook, MySpace, probably not so much anymore. Yeah. <laughs> um, Twitter, blogs, all those things, like people are really responding to those, like people, and, and for the, I mean, I, I think, I know what you're saying, like it's harder to, in terms of merchandise and stuff, you haven't got sort of, the, the there's something about a band that it's, it's more of an, I don't know, an entity or something, yeah, but then, but then you look at solo artists, I mean, personal tastes like Flying Lotus who's a, who's a solo artist but he's he's also um, he designs his own sort of sleeves and, and um, artwork and that sort of thing and sells those as merchandise and like for the right market for his market for a warp fan base for example like he makes an awful lot of money out of that so I think you've got to find your target and then you know it doesn't necessarily have to be um, be the face or anything like like which is easier to do with bands obviously but um I mean, the, I mean, yeah, just I think, personalize you know, it to your to your fan base and um the thing that i keep thinking it and that keeps coming up in all of these things is that you as musicians or labels or you know whoever you are out there need to know where your music fits and who your fan what what your who your fan base is um because certainly as a as a as a folky ish singer songwriter, a friend of mine got her friend's nan to knit scarves <laughs> with her initials in the scarf because that's folky, crafty, goes with the vibe, goes with the demographic, and these were beautiful things and you know cutesy went with her kind of cutesy folky music. They were selling them for twenty five quid, yeah, you know, and this is and well. and and. and the little old lady was getting her cut, and then, you know, she, she, was, she was getting her she cut. She was getting a cut, but she was, you know, the, the 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 point is that they found something that worked with her. That, that because pe the audiences are not stupid, and they know when they're being sold to, you know, overtly, and they know when there's a clash. So if you go out with some kind of, you know, if you as a folky singer songwriter with some kind of heavy metal logo T-shirt and think that's going to sell, it's not. But um, I remember desperately trying to find a tongue t-shirt at one point, who were a band certainly, but have that folky thing because the artwork was so beautiful. I mean, I really wanted that t-shirt. I wanted the artwork. So, and you know, there's visual things. And I think the other thing to, to say about, about um, the, the, the wider picture and merchandise and sync and branding is how, you know, the importance of a visual identity for, for a brand. The, the amount of appalling packaging in, the, in a day when there are surely great, you know, lowly paid or brand new great, great graphic designers out there who will do you a 
job or work with you or an illustrator or somebody whose work you speaks to you as an artist or speaks to your artist if you're the label, commission those people. Find somebody to make some 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 um, a film, some videos. You know, when I worked at a record label, we didn't pay for videos because there was nowhere to show them unless, apart from MTV. But now there's YouTube and your own websites, and so to have all of those other things can potentially help in gaining a fan base from overseas. And you know, really arresting three-minute video made with not very much money and a great idea. That OK Go video yeah. on the running machines has been, I mean, yeah. if they, you know, the, it's been ripped off and yeah. used and launched them. So, there so are I think with all of these things, it's just, uh, you know, just be really creative. You know, the, when there's no money, it's all about the idea. Yeah. Whether it's a video or... The, and make it appropriate. They, that band OK Go have just done a new one with Samsung, um, a new uh, camera they're bringing out where it, they're, they're now like known as this internet band because that's where they're making all their money. And um, it's, it's from, from um, YouTube clips and stuff, but so uh, Samsung approached them and said, all right, we'll pay for your next mm. video. And they're um, selling no records, so it's a good match. Yeah, that's and what, the thing, it's just, not, it, it works. Yeah, yeah, but rather than going, right, we want this much money, they made a video, it's literally just come out, you might have seen it, but it's it's various pieces of burnt toast <laughs> with a drawing on it, and that's all it is, like, the whole way through. So the money spent on that is obviously, you know, tiny, but but the the because it's a weird idea and it's Samsung were involved, like, it's it's the story behind it is, like, obviously, you know, and they're, and they're, and they're giving Samsung an immediate and that, audience, yeah. right? Yeah, so, so it works for every every side of it. So. And that's, and that's one that's one final thing on, on the merchandise thing is that nine times out of ten, merchant the the the, um, the 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 ratio between in the time investment and the work that goes into doing March against what you get back is completely out of, is completely out of whack. You know, it's like you know this the, this idea. Was great. It was creative, and, and it probably adds to um, the what her fans think of that of her, and she's giving them something. But I mean, ultimately, you know what what people will get paid. And same with Flying Lotus. You know, probably what he can make out of selling T-shirts in a month, he could probably get out of one DJ gig. Sure. You know, so yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's not that you should. It's not that it shouldn't be done. It's just that nobody should really. Do, it's very rare for people Basically to do it and to expect it. to really make real money but out of it. That's kind of also not. helps because it's kind of an exclusive exactly. thing. Like you can only get it if you're registered on his website, sure. maybe, and you can only order it. So in terms of a promotional <laughs> tool, as it's a good. Fun, as a it's a good fun thing to do as yeah. well. It's like he wants to do it, make but that's that's actually why you should like do it. It's like because you've got a good idea, not because you're like brilliant. If I whack some t-shirts out, yeah, it's never for the money. It just doesn't work.